Julie, you're incredible, and you mean so much to me. These last eight and a half years have been the best years of my life. When we first met at college, I knew immediately that you were unique. You had this poise and awareness and intelligence that made you stand out from anyone that I'd ever met. Whoa. You're beautiful. Thank you. Soon I got to know you as a wonderful, beautiful person who is responsible and earnest and caring and courageous. Julie, I love so many things about you. I love how affectionate you are. When we're together, I always want you in my arms. When we eat dinner at a restaurant, we never sit across from each other because it just feels too far away. I actually thought about buying uh, an old Cadillac just so I could drive with you right next to me. It's the place you find someone to encourage you, to believe in you, celebrate with you, and comfort you. A family is where your heart feels most at home because you're always loved. He said words that we couldn't understand. And I said, this is the man for my daughter. We knew he was the one from that moment that we met him. So we welcome you to our family night. We love you. I've watched Julie lovingly mock Nate and provide a grounding presence for his zany brilliance all the while never losing sight of her own dreams. I'm just so glad that you guys met each other and that Julie has become one of my best friends. From the first moment we met, I had butterflies in my stomach and fireworks in my heart. Our love has only grown stronger since that day. We've been through job changes, a fantastic move across country, graduate degrees, and the realization of your dream. Thank you for being the man I can trust with my love, heart, and spirit. I promise to be patient and kind, and above all, Nathan, I vow to love you. I think that's why the two of you work so well together. You balance each other out, encourage each other, challenge each other whenever necessary, while always retaining your individuality. I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Introducing <laughs> Nathan and Julie Berba. Julie, you're one of the best friends in my life. I know I always have you there in my corner. And Nate, I know that Julie feels that about you as well. She's gonna be your best ally, your best friend, your entire life, as I know you will be for her too. His next role was virtual reality holodeck master only to become a corporate executive. But my little sunny boy's most important role as of today is lovely Julie's husband. For the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Verba. Remember that true friendship is the basis for any lasting relationship. You know, I know Julie's gonna make an awesome wife for you and that you're gonna be an awesome husband for my sister and I couldn't be any happier for you guys. Julie, I love you so much and I can't wait to be your husband and to build our life together. welcome you to our family and we're so delighted now that we're all together united as one family we're very happy and we're very proud of both of you we couldn't ask for a lovelier daughter you know he's definitely one of the most
caring people I know and the depth that he cares for Julie, I really hope that you understand because literally every conversation that is not Servios or the dog is basically you. When I think of marriage, I think of passion, friendship, trust, and partnership. I promise to be those things for you. I vow to support you through both carefree times and difficult times, and I vow to love you forever and always. So Nathan Burbo, if you ever travel back in time, don't step on anything. Because even the tiniest change can alter the future in ways you can't possibly imagine. And if for some reason that screws up your marriage with Julie, you're screwed. So don't do it. And beyond that, I wish you many, many more years more. Congratulations, guys. You couldn't you couldn't have done better.